Hello everybody, it's Mary and it is Saturday night at 7 o'clock, which means it's time for Facebook Live video. So I'm just going to do a little quick refresh over here to be sure that we're transmittalating out into the ether web. See how I have all those technical terms down? So good, just so good. Hey Rosie, appreciate you joining. Hope you're having a good weekend. We uh, spent most of the day in the garden area. We went and got mulch and we added dirt to our wonderful beds and so we're getting close. Hi Patty Joe. Hi Debbie. Appreciate you guys joining. I hope you're having a great weekend. Hi Patricia. All right. I have a fun fun fold card for you today. It's called a pop-up window card and it does this like that. Looks pretty regular at the front but then when you open it it slides out like that and creates that fun fold card. A little better than I did it right there, but <laughs> that's what it does. So it just opens and closes like that. You can see the top profile. All right, um, I saw this on Leanne Greff's website. There's actually a few out there, but I found her video and I liked it. So I modified the inside fold a little bit to suit the way I like to decorate cards and I think you're gonna like it. So I'll have all of these on tomorrow on my blog. All of the measurements will be there, so you do not need to worry about that tonight. Hello, everybody. Hey, Linda. Hi, Holly. Other Linda, Nancy and Serene and Linda and Jewel and Serene. Oh, Serene, I said your name twice. Thank you so much for enjoying the card. I think it's pretty cute. Oh, look, I've got a stray glue dot. I wondered why that was all sticky. Y'all, stray glue dots are like Stampin, uh, Stampin' Dimensional covers. They're just everywhere. Okay, so obviously I used the really cute Snailed It bundle with its uh, snail dies and then some of the snail mail DSP. Pretty party and only a little bit of fussy cutting, so you'll be okay. Hey guys, are you there with me? All right, somebody give me a thumbs up that I'm unfrozen. I was frozen for a minute. Uh, anyway, give, somebody give me a thumbs up. Did you get it back? Yeah, it looks like it's back, Wayne. Thank you. Okay, I've got thumbs up. Yay, we're back. For a minute, I was afraid we were going to have to start afresh. Don't know what happened there. I'm totally blaming Comcast. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. All right. Phew. What a phew. Okay, so back where I was. This is a five and a half by eight and a half piece of basic black cardstock. And from the center of it... With a stitched rectangle die, I cut my window, okay? So I just ran it through the cutter, like so, with the die in place, and created my window. Now, you want to hang on to that piece because it's actually your fun fold piece, all right? So I have it right here, and I also cut a same size piece of the snail mail DSP, and I'm going to adhere that to the black piece with some liquid glue. Hey, Terry. Hi, Barbara. All right. Sorry about that interruption, you guys. I don't know what in the world was going on. Okay, so these are the same exact size. I'm just putting it on. It just gives this, uh, keeps the the strength of your, of your moving window piece there, okay? Because the DSP, I think, would be a little bit uh, sloppy. A little bit sloppy. Okay. Now, on a small, I took another pe another die. It's actually two down. Okay. No, it isn't. It's one down. Or I've lost a die. One or the other. Either of those things are possible. Right? Either of those things are possible. So there it is. So the large piece is this die. And one down is my mat. Okay? But you can see they uh, there's a little bit of a... Of a mat there. So that's kind of cute. Then I took another piece. I pe took a piece of basic white and I am going to stamp my sentiment on there. Okie doke. And this is the sentiment I am going to stamp and I am doing it in real red. And I'm going to make sure I'm getting a good image. I am. Okay. And we'll stamp it right in the middle. middle. I'm going to pull it to me just a little bit y'all. Okay, there we go. All right, and then I'm gonna wait just a beat or two, and then I'm gonna color this. I'm gonna color just the envelope. 
Hey Connie, I'm glad you were able to join. And I'm going to color it with my Bermuda Bay Stampin' Blend. Just the envelope, nothing else. All right. Now, it occurred to me later, you could, if you wanted, put a little snail mail heart right there if you wanted. Maybe I'll do that on this one. I didn't do it on the sample, but maybe I'll do it on this one. All right, and I'm just going to put a little bit of a little bit of shading with the same dye. Or, I mean the blend. Dork. Okay. And then we'll adhere this to that smaller uh, Bermuda Bay mat. Like so. Hey, Lynn. Appreciate you joining from New Jersey. Just like so. Now, take a few dimensionals and I'm gonna pop this right into the middle of the window panel, okay? Sarait, sarait, okay, okay. Is that okay with you? Yes, that's okay. And because I'm now, oh there, there we go. I've got a couple, here we go. I was gonna say I was gonna to have to step back to my black ones that I've got for the rest of the card. It's fun to have the black stamp in dimensionals when you're playing with black cardstock, I think. I guess it would be rude to say, yes, we need some very vanilla ones as well. Yeah, that would be, that would be cray cray. Okay, so that is the card front. We'll stop right there. And now I'm going to make the moving mechanism, okay? And that is this piece right here. And all that is is a piece that is five inches long by six inches wide. Basic white. And I'm going to pull out my scoreboard here, my Simply Scored. And with the six inch side along the top, I'm just going to score at two inches and at four inches, like so. Okay, done and done. Now, before you fold, because it's just a lot easier, so before I fold this up, I'm going to stamp my little snail guy. Actually, it's a snail girl, you can tell because of the eyelashes. My allergies do seem to be a little better, although I'm still having coughing fits at night, um, so I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp, I'm putting my sentiment in the middle panel and then I'm going to put my snail on the end panel, okay? And so we're going to just put her right there. And she can sit and dry a second. Remember, the tuxedo black takes an extra beat or two to dry. So while I'm waiting for that, I'll go ahead and put my other sentiment, you snailed it, on the middle panel and about as straight as I can make it be. There. Isn't that so cute? I love that font right there. I don't know what that font is called, but it's really cute. Yeah, Daryl, this is a cute stamp. I am not a fan of slugs in my garden, but I am very much a fan of these little slug people. Okay. You know what? I'm going to let that dry just another second, and while we're doing that, we'll color a little bit of coloring. I'm going to show you the decorations for the front of the card, okay? I took some of the DSP, the snail mail DSP. It's got these cute little mushy rooms. And what I did is I adhered the paper to a piece of whisper white, or no, basic white cardstock with liquid glue. And then I fussy cut them so that they would have a little more substance, okay? I stamped the very cute mushroom uh, image in tuxedo black and cut it with the dye from the snail dyes. And now we're going to color it and I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends in Bermuda Bay and Real Red. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of cartoonish because, you know, Bermuda Bay is not really a leaf color, but it is today. So suspend your disbelief and let your imaginations run wild. 
looks like a Dr. Seuss plant and Dr. Seuss mushing rooms, okay? Then I think I'm gonna go ahead and color this little guy, Bermuda Bay too, parts of him at least. I'm gonna switch to my bullet. Ah, oh yes, not slugs, escargot. You know, we had escargot, I tried escargot on the, uh, let's see. It was either the Alaska or the Mediterranean cruise. I can't remember. And they were okay. Is it something that I would like pick out of a crowd? No. Would I Joan be jonesing for it and be like, man, if I don't have some escargot soon, I'm going to just croak. No, absolutely not. But they were okay. So they were drowned in garlic and butter. Hello. You could, I, there's just no saying what you could put in garlic and butter and have it be okay, right? I mean, <laughs> serious. Slugs don't have shells. Oh yeah, good point. These are snails. We have slugs in the garden. Although, I don't know, do snails also eat your plants? I don't know. If they do, then they get the same, the same disdain that slugs get. For some reason, last year we had slugs like crazy. Now, I am using my uh, Stampin' Right marker in Blushing Bride because, hey, Stampin' Up, are you listening? I don't have a Stampin' Blend in Blushing Bride. I'm hoping that that will be remedied post-haste. Wouldn't that be cool if the new catalog that comes out in May would have a Stampin' Blend in every color? That would be amazing. Stampin' Up, are you listening? I don't think they're listening. They very seldom call me for my opinion, I've noticed. Just saying. Okay, and then we'll use our real red blend to color these little dot people. These little dots right here. This looks like a mushroom you don't wanna eat, okay? I'm just saying. Do not eat this mushroom if you come across it in the wild. It is not, I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, I don't know it for sure because I'm not a mushroomologist, but I don't think I would eat these mushrooms. My theory is any mushroom that has real red on it is is a stay away mushroom. Just throwing that out there. Stay away from that mushroom. Alright. Now, obviously this isn't going to blend as well as a blend would. Stampin' up, are you paying attention? But it's okay. It looks like it has some texture, right? And don't mu don't mushrooms have texture? Hey, Shirley. Hi, Fran. Or hi, Judy. How are you? Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to set... Oh, I did want to do one other thing. So you see how this is visible. And when you open up your card, you can see it on the back. So what I did is I cut a plain piece of the same die cut in basic white. And I'm just going to adhere it to the back of this, just to clean it up a little bit. Okay. And we're just gonna set it right over the top so that it, on the back, it's gonna just be a plain old die cut. There we go. You could also, if and you'd wanted to, you could have cut it with uh, from a piece of DSP and then you'd have a cute little thing back there. But I didn't, so we won't. Okay, okay. Now, we'll go ahead and color this little snail lady. And I'm going to do one of the things I like to do quite a bit. Yes, Amy did not touch them. Mamas don't let their babies grow up to be mushroomologists. See, that's right. Thank you, Joan. And my mama didn't. We see mushrooms a lot. We have a lot of mushrooms because we have, you know, Georgia Woods. And Wayne's like, I'm pretty sure that's a... A edible mushroom and I'm like I'm I'm equally certain I'm not going to so we are both equally certain about our things uh, salvia attracted slugs I don't know what it was I actually think it came we we bought this ginormous bag of um, humus compost and we had never done that before and we'd never had slugs but this year we did and we had them like crazy so I had to learn this thing called slug chug that you put in a little jar in a little lid on the in the garden and that they go to it and then they drown which made me feel a little bad i i don't like to kill stuff just because it's doing its thing but but i did because i 
it was destroying my plants. Okay, all I've done is taken my Blushing Bride ink pad and I've squeezed the lid down. And then, so I get ink on the top of the lid. And now I'm going to take my clear Wink of Stella brush and I'm going to watercolor with it. Or glitter color with it, depending on how you want to consider it. And I'm just painting her Blushing Bride like so. And so what you get is you get color and shiny sparkle all at the same time. All right. So we're going to color her body and her shell. But I'm going to use the Stampin' Right or the Stampin' yeah, the Stampin' Right marker to color the little lines in her shell and that's going to be just enough of a difference that you can kind of see that it's different that's my story i'm sticking to it just work with me people okay so i'm just going to color this part of her shell I'll make her a very pretty girl snail yes just used a salt shaker yeah i know donna but mm, i just i know it's wussy of me but I just couldn't. I just couldn't. So I didn't. I used my slug chug. I think I remember the recipe. It's like two cups of water, a teaspoon of yeast, and some sugar. Apparently it smells like snail slug beer or something like that. And they crawl right in and die happy slugs. I guess they're happy. I don't know. I tried to tell them if they would just leave my plants alone, I'd leave them alone. They didn't listen, so I had to bring out the big guns, the slug chug. Okay, so I have colored her little shell, and now I'll take my that Stampin' Right marker again in Blushing Bride and colored just the band, like so. See how that's the same and yet totally different? And now I'm also going to color the middle of that shell because I totally forgot it was there. Totally forgot that she has a middle of her shell. Gosh, you'd think I could keep track of her shelves, all of her shelves. Okay, we'll put this away. Spent half the night for about three nights killing slugs. So I know, I know. It's gross. I can't kill them, but I don't want them around. It's... I'm a, I'm a hypocrite. I'm willing to admit that. Okay, back to our Stampin' Blends in, oops, get off me, get off me, ah, in real red, and we'll color this little gift. It's going to be real red, and the other one is going to be, you guessed it, Bermuda Bay. I'll use the dark one just to give it a little bit of depth. See my artistic artistriness? Yeah. A little bit of light in the middle and a little bit of dark around the edges. And all of a sudden, just pretend it looks 3D, okay? Just pretend. Squint your eyes if you need to. Feel free to just, just give me this win. There we go. Oh. All right. You guys excited for the next catalog? I can't believe it's almost here already. 35 chipmunks with a bucket and sunflower seeds last summer. Not fun. Okay, I don't want to know any more, Catherine. Nope, I don't. I don't. Ugh, I don't think I could do that either. In fact, I know it for certain sure. All right. Now, I have another piece of the snail mail DSP, and I'm going to mat it on some... Uh, on some Bermuda Bay, put it on the back of my card base. You know me, if I can put a layer, I'm gonna put a layer. That's just how, it ro how I roll with this. This layering thing is important for me. Come on now, get back there, okay. That's good. All right, where'd you go, card base? Here we go. So, okay, 
and now it is ready for the mechanism. Engage the mechanism. Okie doke. Now, for this piece, you're going to fold and fold. So you're going to make a mountain and then a valley and give it a good crease with your bone folder. Like a shoe. Okay. Now, fold it up and make sure you have it right side up. We'll put some liquid glue on the back of the last fold. And then we're going to move that out of the way. We're going to adhere it. And what you're basically doing here is you're eyeballing the the mat to the mat to the mechanism. Okay, so you have about the same distance all the way around, and then you can just double check that you've gotten it right. Now, we're going to close this up, and what's going to happen is I'm going to adhere this inside the opening of the, of the window. And so, all you do is, with the card closed, just put a little bit of liquid glue here. And place it inside the opening like a shoe and lift it up. Make sure it's got a good adhereration. And there you go. You've got your piece already working. So now we're just going to decorate the front and we'll be done. And all I'm going to do there is I'm going to take my two little fussy cut mushing rooms and I am going to put one there like so and I'm going to put one here also like so okay like that all right just a little bit of liquid glue I know I can't wait for the new catalogs I'm excited it always seems like it's so fast, but that's because it is fast this year, especially with the um, with, with us being in transition, if you will. And then we'll just stick that one right here. Like that. Okay. Now, because I like bows, who doesn't like a good bow? I'm going to take some of the snail mail twine and make a little bow. Make a little bow. It's a pop-up window card, Jackie. A pop-up window card. So I've got two pieces of, two lengths of the twine and I'm just doing a simple bow. It's a simple bow. It's simply a simple bow, like so. And I'm just going to adhere it right there with a glue dot, with a glue dot. And I'm going to put it right there, right there. Like that. I got a glue dot on my finger. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my little uh, mushing room right here. And I'm going to adhere it right here with Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay? And I'm going to use my black ones. And I'll just put a couple on the actual card front to start because I know that's where I want them and then I'll slide one under if I need it like so okay and there let's see we'll go ahead and cut this because that is excessively long that's an excessively long bow tail which is different than a ponytail. Do you realize this? The difference between a bow tail and a ponytail? There's not one. Okay, and there is your card ready to go. Now, we'll decorate us up a little envelope. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Now, on the front of my basic white envelope, I am going to stamp the little conversation bubble in real red. Like so. 
I did it opposite on the first one, but you can do whatever color scheme you like. And then I'll find somewhere my hello. Hello, it's me. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I can't sing. Now, somewhere here, right in front of me, is my blushing bride. We're going to use blushing bride for the sentiment here. Because I can. And we'll just stick that right in the middle of the thought bubble. Parfait. I'll take it. Thank you, Holly. Thanks, Angie. It is fun, isn't it? I like it. Okay. Now I'm going to use a slightly different Bermuda Bay DSP. Truth and Lending. I'm really totally out of the red with the little blush, blushing bride hearts because I might have been tempted to use that. In fact, I like the I like adding the I like having the uh, Bermuda Bay, so it's kind of handy that I was out of that other paper. You know, one of those happy happy accidents. This is the one that looks like snail trails. I think is what it's supposed to be. If this was a bee paper, it would be bee flight trails. But since it's snails. It's obviously snail trails. Your cat approves. Yay! My cat approves of little these days. She's mostly asleep or griping at me, but that's okay. She's old and crotchety. She's earned it. And in the mornings, we do have very nice sessions sitting in front of the TV with her on my lap sleeping, and that's pretty pleasant, and I'm going to miss her a lot when she goes. Okay, there we go. Two really cute cards with a really fun little fun fold. And see how nice it is when you have that uh, clean inside? There you go. So it is pop-up window fun fold. I hope you will try it. The video will be posted tomorrow and um, all of the card cuts that you'll need. So I hope you will try it sometime. And I hope I'll see you on Thursday at 1 o'clock on my YouTube video. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, y'all. Thanks. Ta.